but then I, I reached out and found there's so many around and to my heart they bound to be there whenever I call oh hell that's when I I found you as family I found you as my friend strengthen our community never my game I never feel that loneliness again no Society Member Marathon. My name is Glenn Garns. I'm the founder of the Abundant Society program and I am very pleased that you've chosen to join us today because we've got some very special stuff happening here at Abundant Society and there's nothing more special than a second visit from Coach Mia. Uh, actually, now we're not, I can't even call you Juice Coach Mia, <laughs> but today we're talking about dehydrating today I'm just um, you. And, and creating healthy snacks. So. Thanks for coming back two days in a row. This is I'm awesome. Very excited about it. I was going to say, we're going to be seeing a lot more each other since we're going to start walking again. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. I told you, I made a pronouncement yesterday that I am going to begin today starting with my new wellness plan. And that starts with healthy eating, and it also starts with getting out and exercising on a regular basis. Mia's going to wear me out around the way to know. <laughs> I used to walk with her, and it was like, you know, I needed a, I needed a skateboard or something to keep up with her. but. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work on that this time. Oh, burn the calories, baby! Exactly, exactly. So, what we're doing right now, this is part of the Optimum Health Club segment of Abundant Society, and me is here to share with you some ways for you to conveniently create healthy snacks. One of the big things that she taught me was that if you want to eat healthy, you have to surround yourself with healthy choices, because if you go to the cabinet and all you have is the junk food, that's what you'll eat. So you need to replace that with the healthy choices, and she's going to show you how to do that conveniently and make it a family affair. Exactly. So what do you have for us today? Well, today what I did was I, a lot of kids in their lunch boxes, the first thing parents go to the school, store get is usually fruit roll-ups because they're really sweet. They got the high fructose corn syrup in them, and it's something that attracts the kids. So what I did was I made uh, what, what is a fruit roll-up, but we call it leather. Okay. Okay. So all I all you do is you actually just take your fruit, you put it in a blender, you blend it up into a smoothie consistency, you spread it on a sheet, and then you put it in a dehydrator. You gonna show us what that looks like? Yes, I sure will. And the sheet should be well. This is um, the dehydrator sheet that comes with 
the Excalibur um, dehydrator. Is that, re is that reusable? Reusable. Okay. Very flexible. And as you can see, the leather is very flexible as well. So you just put it on, spread it out as thin as possible. It takes approximately two to three hours for it to dry. And then you have your fruit roll up. And it comes off very easily. Now, when you, when you do this, you, you were talking about, is there any special or, tip, or any, any particular type of blender you have to use? Or it really blender? isn't, as long as, it, as you can get it to a puree. You have to make sure it's, it is on a puree sitting. So you have to make sure you have that little button that says puree, like not chop, grate, or all those well, things. Well, you're, you're going to have to let it run for a long time. Not, but you don't want it chopped. You want it pureed. Uh, you want, like I said, you want it as smooth as possible. As you can see, this is a very smooth texture. Uh, this particular one has banana and strawberry in it. Uh, strawberry. Uh, can, we a, can we get a close up of that? Strawberry oh, has go. been shown to be the number one seller as far as the fruit roll up line is concerned. So you put it on, spread it out really neat, leave it in there, like I said, for two to three hours. When it's done, it's really pliable, and you just basically peel it from the edge as such. Wow. Okay. And there you have it. I'm just going to lay this over like this because... How many, how many roll-ups will that create? Depends upon the size that you cut them. So it, it can make approximately 10 to 12 if you cut them the right well, way. That one, that one tray? This one is tray is about 10 to 12 fruit roll-ups. 10 to 12 servings. Mm -hmm. huh. So what I did was I kind of, like I said, it's shiny on the other side. If it wasn't ready, it would be really tacky. So it would still be like a little gooey feeling to it. This one I cooked a little longer so that you can see that it kind of it rips a little harder. Mm -hmm. This one won't rip as hard because it's more flexible. Mm -hmm. um, but this is also used as baby food. I guess that's also convenient to carry with you as a snack too. Exactly. Think of holding a banana and an apple, well two apples, I mean banana and strawberries, a pint of strawberries and a banana in your hand and trying to walk around with it all day or would you want to rather take this? Roll up. Exactly. So, so, there's, so there's a recipe to this too then? Yeah, that's a recipe, oh, it's a recipe oh, oh. to everything. Yes, yeah, <laughs> So that, isn't that interesting? fruit roll-ups come in a have a cellophane type uh, lining so all you do is just take your wax paper and you just roll it. It's really good. I did this one while it was warm because if you don't it makes it a little harder to roll. So you want to roll them while they're warm and then you just put it in your backpack put it in a kid's lunchbox, and you're on your way. That's fabulous. Now, so now you mentioned the kids. We can actually get the kids involved in creating their own snacks. Correct, because everybody's flavor is different. So you might like strawberries, and they don't. Or they might like bananas, and you don't. So you can kind of like play with the, with the ingredients. You can put the berries in. Um, I do one where I put the, um, it's all berries, just a straight berry one. Um, then I may even put a little seasoning in it. So like if I do one with straight bananas, I might put a little cinnamon in it or a little caraway and just, you know, change the flavors all together. I know you're getting creative with it. We've <laughs> 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 never been satisfied with just the basics of it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. But a lot of people don't even know about dehydrators, but dehydrators have been around for approximately since the nineteen seventies. Uh, they started just doing it with the sun. So what it is is it keeps you, it preserves your foods for you and it's a whole new way of keeping your foods when like i said people buy stuff this time of the year they you go to the farmer's market you buy your fruit and your veggies and it goes spoiling really quick nobody you just a lot of waste and waste not won't not is the way i look at it so if you don't if you have um too much fruits or veggies now you can take them slice them up put them in a dehydrator and you save them uh with the the vegetable part of it, the peas, the corn, the, the onions, that type of stuff, you dehydrate them, you put them in your mason jar. So now you want some soup. So all you have to do now is just grab a handful at a time. Oh, really? Throw it in your pot. There's your onions, there's your carrots, there's your whatever, whatever you decide to put in it. And it dehydrates back up. So everybody's like, I don't eat dehydrated food. Right. Dehydrated food is your oodles or noodles that you eat. <laughs> um, your pastas is dehydrated because pasta is not really dry like that. Um, so it's a lot of stuff that people eat that they don't realize. They don't realize it's dehydrated. It's dehydrated. Right. Um, army yeah, spaghetti, people, spaghetti is dehydrated noodles. Dehyd I'm glad you said spaghetti. I also have in here some leather, but it's made out of spaghetti sauce. Really? 
so what happened is I always buy spaghetti sauce, but it's usually left over. And you probably have about this much left in your jar. A lot of people say, I'm just going to use it later, so they put it in yeah, the it's fridge. Not, it's not enough to make another exactly. batch, but it's too much to throw out. Right, and you put it in the back of the refrigerator, and you say, I'm going to get to it. Well, before you see it, you see the fuzzy hair going across the top of it. <laughs> so now it's time for it to go in the trash. spaghetti sauce to a mold experiment. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So what you can do with it, with that as well is spread it as well on the sheet, dehydrate that as well, and it peels just like the other. Now, what would you use this with? I mean, do you, do you eat this as a roll-up, or do you have it with some other type of... Honestly, meal? I take mine, and I actually take it, and I put it on different foods that I want. So if I wanted to use it to redo it just as a sauce, I do it as a sauce. You can put this on a sandwich. Put it on a sandwich. Um, I also take this and I um, use it as seasoning in different uh, soups recipes. Oh, so you can act, so it gets rehydrated. Rehydrated in the soup. In the okay. Soup. And again, like I said, but when you rehydrate this stuff. So hold that thought for a minute. Okay. So if you were going on a camping trip or something like that, okay. you could dehydrate all these things to travel with you, and then when you put a cauldron over the fire and drop that stuff back in and bring it right back. Right, right to life, just like the army. The sea rations. Are you all getting this? Do you, do you understand why you would want to invest? Now, I'm not selling these things. This is mine. I'm you, not selling them You either. can't have this one. This one's mine. But this is, this is why I say that when you stop and think about how you're spending your money, how you're investing your money, this could save you enough to justify the investment to have one, not to mention all the healthy choices that you can now make and all the different ways that you can get your children involved in understanding what good nutrition looks like. And again, th these, you know, I mean, come on. You, you understand what Abundant Society is all about now? This is, this is where it's really at, is knowing how to address every aspect of your life in a balanced way. And I, I want, I'll be teaching a class on how to choose the dehydrator, which dehydrator is, and the reason that I choose the ones that we choose. Did I choose well here? You chose very well. Well, I had a good coach. I wonder who that was. Oh, <laughs> Lord, I don't even want to mention her name. <laughs> And um, I also have for us some kale chips. This is... Um, Did you say for us or for me? For us. Oh. Okay. You got to share. All right. But these are chili cheese chips. Chili kale chips. Cheese chips. Because I, one of my favorite chips when I was eating in the other stuff was the Fritos, the chili yeah. cheese. And I, I loved them. So I decided to try to make them into a kale Something chip. Healthy. So you want to try and see what... Yes, see I what do. What, see what you think. Oh man, That's good stuff. <laughs> this is like wow. And that's not that they, they they are vegan, so the cheese that you're tasting is not actually cheese. You didn't say this was for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is good stuff. Again, um, now, now if I had that in the cabinet, I wouldn't reach for the corn chips or the whatever. I'm not going to mention any brand names. Right. I wouldn't reach for the the stuff. I'd reach for the food. And if you go to the store to purchase it. They do have them on the shelves now in some of the stores. However, you have to watch your ingredients that's in them. Like I said, everything in here, you know what you're doing when you do it yourself, opposed to buying it at the store. Aside this, at the, at the store, this is going to cost you approximately $7 for this size bowl. Mm -hmm. It only cost me $2.50. You mean if you make it yourself, it's two fifty. Yes. But if you buy it at the store, it's, it's like $7? It's like $7. So you can literally have three times as much when you make it yourself. Well, give me a few more bars of this. Man. This is this, Rod. Do you want some of this? I may save you one. Mm. I hope people can hear me crunching on that, but that's good stuff. And um, so I wasn't I, even thinking that you were going to do something like that. Yeah, I did some fruit as well because again, when we're traveling and stuff like that, and you have the kids along, they always want something a little sweet. Um, so I did some pineapples, I did some oranges, and in the middle, the pretty color is actually beet and uh, cucumbers, because the, cu the, the chips, they actually sell beet chips, um, sweet potato chips, they sell those in the store now. But so this is again, what this is what you make you it yourself. Some potato chips with. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now, I would not normally eat a beet. Exactly. But... A beet chip, and then, and you made that juice yes, uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh man, purple rain, <laughs> winter, winter. <laughs> that was good stuff. So yeah, so and it only takes approximately for 
depending on the, the texture of the um, whatever you're dehydrating, of course the time varies. So the more water substance that's in it, the longer it goes. So uh, like 25 pounds of fruit or 25 pounds of vegetables actually winds down to approximately six to eight pounds. Okay. So if you think about trying to carry all of that on a hiking trip or like you said, out, right. out, out to camp or whatever, that's a lot of but weight. But it's got the same nutritional value. The nutritional value, depending on the stuff, it really it does kind of go down some and the calorie actually comes up because now you're condensing every day. But if you're combining this with water when you get to wherever you're going, also you're drinking water along with your snack. Exactly. Then the calories come back the up. And it brings the balance back up. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And like I said, it's not it's not anything really complicated. It actually saves money and it saves time. The dehydrator can be used for art cra art and crafts because we talked about kids again. So around Christmas time, you make your dough, you put it into your little uh, you know ornament, throw it in, dehydrate it. Well, we're not going to put anything in except what's something you need here. <laughs> uh, you know, these kids are going to do their arts and crafts someplace else. But potpourri. I'm just letting you know some of the other stuff that you can make. You can make. Does Sherry own. use this to do her potpourri? Probably so. Okay. Uh, yeah. And you're talking about a good jerky recipe. I was going to say I got to oh. hook up with Sherry because I don't eat meat, but she, my I know that's my, why I got to hook up with Sherry. My children went over and she gave them some beef jerky, and that's all they've been talking about. Can you come to Sherry and make me some more beef jerky? Excellent recipe. I don't know what's in it. I'm glad they like it. I was going to ask you what the beef jerky was, but then I realized no, 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 do no, the, no. Do I don't, don't, do I don't do the meat. I don't All do right. the meat. I don't do the meat. Now, yeah. now I notice that you don't have banana chips here, but that's another thing that you can do is to slice the bananas and 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 do banana chips as well. Exactly. And the best tool to slice those bananas with is a is an egg slicer, like the that what the uh, hard boiled eggs. Okay. Buy one of those to slice your bananas with. Oh, good tip. Write that down, that, folks. That'll keep them even. Egg slicer. Right, and that'll keep your, your slices even so that they are dehydrated at the same time. Now, what about that device you used yesterday to cut the apple up, the core of the apple? What, mm -hmm. what is that called? Apple core. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. You know, if we were in a hardware store looking at hammers and nails and drills, I'd be able to help you out. But unfortunately, we're yeah, talking about a, food preparation stuff. Just an apple core. So, okay. um, now, would you use that to slice... For dehydrating, or would you? Yeah, I didn't bring all the tools, other tools that that I, that I should probably have, so that people can kind of get an understanding. But you would, when you're doing dehydrating, you'll need like a core, uh, maybe for your pineapples, because you can actually make those into pineapple chunks and make them into like a candy-like substance. Um, you need a, a mandolin so that you can try to get your slices, because like I said, everything needs to be almost at the same consistency so that it dries properly at the same time. You're, you're eventually, though, going to be doing a video that shows the use every, of all the other all tools. Of the other well. tools. And, and let me let me stop and, and say that right now Mia is working on a program that will allow you to be able to become a member and watch videos of her doing all of these things, demonstrating the tools, showing you how to maintain your equipment, showing you how to choose the right recipes and the right... Um, um, choices and things of that nature. So you really need to stay plugged in. And if you get on the mailing list for the Abundance Gram, again, if you're not going to join Abundance Society, I understand that. We'll, we'll deal with that later. But at least get on the mailing list for the Abundance Gram. Go to www.abundantsociety.com, www.abundantsociety.com, and get on the mailing list for the Abundance Gram. Because one thing I am going to do, even though we normally only send out the, um, the motivational quote each day is when Mia launches her program to teach you how to do all of these things, juicing and dehydrating and all the tools that you need, I'm going to send out a message to invite you to get a chance to join her program. And at least that way, you can plug into these nutrition things and you'll be able to take care of your family in a better way. You'll have healthier options when you're trying to snack and stay on a nutrition plan and you won't have to settle for the convenience of fast food, stuff that's only poisoning you. You know, I really think that you know this is an incredible value for you to be adding to what you do in your daily routine. And Mia is an incredible talent with respect to sharing. She's studied these things. She's I, I've seen the book. I've seen all the stuff <laughs> you've done over the years. I've watched you grow as a professional yourself, and it is extraordinary how much you have accumulated in knowledge over these years. And it, it, you know. I didn't really think how much it really takes to really accumulate the knowledge, 
but it's, it's been uh, 10 years of, of really putting things together and organizing things and seeing where the, the need is because it's really a big need out there to make sure people are doing what they need to do. And I, that's one of my goals is to make sure I help do that. Now, think about this. You could spend the next 10 years of your life trying to figure all this out, or you can get on that mailing list at, on the Abundance Gram and let Mia show you how to shorten your learning curve by 10 years. I mean, which one of those makes more sense to you? I'll give you a minute to think about it. <laughs> All right, so now that we know what the right answer to that question is, get on the mailing list for the Abundance Gram so that I can notify you when Mia starts her new program. This is fabulous stuff. You, you have anything else? What, what else are we doing here? What else um, can I taste? What else you got? You can taste anything that you see here, Glenn. All right, so that was the leather. That, this is the strawberry? The strawberry banana. And as I said, you take this. Oh, that's going to be a favorite. You take this and you rehydrate it, and you can feed it to the baby because it's, it's only bananas and that. strawberries. Because we're not looking to have any more babies. Well, well, I'm going to have some grandkids, but, <laughs> but I'm, well, I'm then, not looking to do that anytime but soon you, either. But you start, you, you'll know how to, how to take care of But some of you that have kids out there, they'll be just <laughs> fine for you. I'm done. So um, you tasted the, the meat try already. Let me try the orange. Mm. That actually still has a little bit of water in it. I don't dehydrate the oranges usually all the way to the to the end end because I don't dehyd I don't usually jar those, but I usually rehydrate those in my water. Okay. So that um, it, like I said, if they, I see something that's going a little too ripe before it gets too ripe, then I just go ahead and dehydrate it so that I can use them up. Got it. Now you said this was a that's a pineapple. Pineapple. Look at how I big. leave the core in mind when look I'm doing displays because it looks like a flower. Look at how big that is as a snack. I mean, this is better than a potato chip. Mm. Yeah, and you see, that's a little tough. Those, those are never going to be to the point of being you know what? crunchy. Oh. It's so tasty, though. Yeah, the pineapple has the water content, so it won't be as, as crunchy wow. as um, but one of the other veggies. This is the kind of thing. I can, I can, I can feel myself being satisfied with a snack like this, between meals especially, you know, one of the best ways for you to have a nutrition plan that you can stick with is to be able to have smaller meals more frequently during the day. And the convenience of dehydrating, if you're sitting at your desk and your choice is to run down and buy a soda or a bag of chips and you can open up your drawer and pull these out, you're going to be much happier with the result after that. Exactly. And like I said, just, it, just tune in because I'm, the recipes that I have, I have recipes for health bars, um, yogurt, the stuff that you usually carry in your lunch bag. I, I'm, I have recipes that you're going to be able to do that stuff in the um, dehydrator without even having to go into the store and spending a lot of money. And it's going to be more healthier for you because you'll know exactly what's in your food. Now, one of the other things that you're doing in this new program is that you're going to have a directory featuring local farmers mm -hmm. that grow these things locally to where people are living that they can go in and tap into as well as another way to support their local community but also get higher quality stuff and have more control over the environment in which it was created. Exactly. Yeah, That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the, the farmers are excited. They're looking forward to, a, to, to the event to start so that they can, you know, as, as any small business, we want to stay within our community because if we keep letting it go on the outside, we're going to lose our little small farms. And yeah, stuff, when, so. when Amazon starts delivering groceries, we're all history. Yeah, and you know, you know? It's, 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 really, it's really consciously people need to start thinking about where they're actually getting their food from. Right. I mean, now the, now the, uh, the federal government makes some post on, on the fruits and veggies where it was actually grown. So... I was like, my husband wanted a watermelon a couple months ago, and he's like, babe, the watermelon looks so good in the store. And I went and I was like, babe, that watermelon is not ready. And he was like, yeah, sure. Flipped it over, it was from Guatemala. Not that I have a problem with Guatemala, but if but that... they got to pick that, it very that, early exactly. if they want it to still be good when it gets here. So then you think That's of the flavor, point. too. That's a good point. So exactly. what you're saying is that when produce comes from other parts of the country, they have to actually pick that early so it'll still be fresh and ripe when it gets to you. And that means that a lot of the nutrition that would otherwise be in it is still on the vine, on the vine. and not in the, not in the fruit. Exactly. If you're buying local, 
that farmer can leave it on the vine longer, longer. Mm -hmm. because it doesn't have to be shipped to Guatemala. Exactly. And the other thing is they're, they're, they either have to gas, they usually gas the food so that it'll ripe quicker. And so they're accelerating the, pair, the, the, the rate at which it ripens, it ripens and then picking it early so that it still looks good when it gets, it gets to, to you. Itself. And so now it's got less than half the nutrition it should have had in the first place. Exactly. Man, I certainly hope you all understand why this is a valuable lesson that you're learning today because I didn't know that. Exactly. I'm going to be a lot more selective about where I'm shopping for groceries, yeah. and especially for produce and stuff like that. Yeah. And like I said yesterday, I'm, I'm, I'm big on organic. And like I said, it's not 100%, the cat can say it's 100% organic, but I'm big on organic due to the low rate of the herbicides and pesticides that gets on them. And when you dehydrate, you have to also remember that, that if it has some type of bacteria or, or herbicide on it, it's going to be in your food as well. And every time you slice, if you don't click, get it off, so every slice that you go down with that knife, you're putting it onto the flesh of that fruit or the flesh of that mm. vegetable. So that's another thing you have. That's another reason that I'm really concerned about the way people choose the food that they're eating as well. That's a good point. Yeah, because all the herbicides and pesticides that come in actually increase the weight because it now it's toxifying our bodies. So now we have to be, that's another reason that some people are overweight. They think it's because of how much they're eating. Do you think that's my problem? It could be. <laughs> <laughs> it could be part of the problem. Of but the those problem. cookies could be part of the problem too, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 those two. Well, Rodney brought the cookies in here yesterday, so you get on him. Because I would have known about cookies if I hadn't walked into my office Rodney, and Rodney, Rodney. seen them. So. Yeah. Our executive producer contributing to my health habits. You know? But uh, that's a good point, that's though. That's okay, because he's, am, he's a part of us now, so we're going to change right. him, too. But here I am blaming <laughs> Rodney. I'm taking personal responsibility because I didn't have in. to touch those exactly. cookies. Exactly. No, that doesn't mean I didn't touch them. But I didn't have to touch them. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. So, um, this is one model of dehydrator. I got the granddaddy model exactly. because that's what you told me to get. This is a nine tray Excalibur. Right. And there are other models that are, I think they have a six tray and a, mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know if they have anything more, maybe a four tray or something. They got a four, like six, and a nine. Mm -hmm. um, my. My preference is the Excalibur. Uh, you have more opportunities to use this Excalibur than you do the round ones. Um, the air from the Excalibur blows out, so you have a more even drying uh, platform, o opposed to the round ones. Now it has to try to circular around. It doesn't always get there. So it's harder to circulate the air in a circular fashion, but if you're blowing the air out, Straight, it's even, even all the way across. All the way across the, so, That's good um, to know. Yeah, and with the trays, you're able to take the trays out. So if you're making your your homemade yogurt, you have it's in a mason jar, so you'd be able to slide it in. The round ones again, you lose that opportunity to be able to make that that yogurt. The round ones have their purpose because, like when I dehydrate eggs, the round one has a a um, leather tray that I can pour the eggs in, so it'll dehydrate the eggs a little better because it's a little runnier. But um, so you dehydrate eggs too? Yeah. Is there anything you can't <laughs> yeah. dehydrate? Um, yeah, there are like stuff that has like, for instance, avocado. You can't dehydrate because of the oil content in it. Oh, okay. So, so there you, are, it's, it's a, very it's minimum, but there are a couple of items that you you cannot so, dehydrate. So when Ernest called me the other day, said, "Glenn." I need your help. She's trying to dehydrate me. You were <laughs> to do, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay. I, I wouldn't do that to my husband. All right. Just want to make sure because, you know, I don't want to get that panic call. No, 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 no. So, um, you know, I don't remember seeing these. These are separate. Oh, so you have to buy those separate. You, have to, you do have to buy those. So, okay. Separate. Where can or you get you them? Can get, or you, um, right now you can get them to, you can go to the Excalibur site and they, they, they have them there. Um, well, I hope Kathy is watching because... We need to have some of those by the time I get home because <laughs> we're going to be doing some serious dehydrating. Uh, but you can get these on the Excalibur site, or if you don't have them right right now, just take some saran wrap and wrap your... So saran wrap will be fine for... Un until you can, yeah. What's the advantage to these sheets over saran wrap generally? The reusability of them. So this saran wrap is good one time. This is good yeah, every time. Yeah, you, you can just, this is just washable and just... You How long will those again. last? This has been probably about eight years. So you haven't worn it. Okay, no, I get it. I don't worn so, <laughs> it out. Be eco-friendly. Buy yourself some Excalibur <laughs> sheets and, and keep them forever. Yeah, yeah. You can pass them down to the next generation, apparently. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and yeah, 
the dehydrator. You're going to be able to pass it down. I mean, this stuff lasts for so a long time. So the juicer and the dehydrator. So what you're saying is that at your funeral, <laughs> your family will be fighting over who's going to get the juicer and the dehydrator. I'm playing for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice problem? That would be a know. nice problem to have. I'm, I'm, I'm look for that. Who one did Daddy be. leave the juicer to? <laughs> He always favored you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So you got anything else you want to tell us about all this? No. Because when just... we go off, when we go off camera here for the next break, um, Something's gonna there be won't gone, be anything huh? else to show. <laughs> <laughs> no. You stay I'm... away from the pineapple. That's mine. Good. All right. Yeah. But well, thank Mia, you. Thank you so much for sharing with us again. Two days in a row. We're going to talk later on about when we're getting together for our walking okay. schedule. I already talked to some other people here who want to join the walking team, oh, that's awesome. the Abundance Walk. We have the Abundance Gathering, the Abundance Walk. Next thing you know, it's going to be all abundance. Exactly. It always has been. We just didn't know it until now. So thank you very much, Miss Mia. You're welcome. Coach Mia, and you're going to be looking for juicing. Was it juicing with Mia? Juicing with Mia. Awesome. Well, listen, when we come back, I don't know what we're doing next. I know we have some other people. Oh, we've got uh, a, 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 another interview with a very talented student, very smart young lady. You're not going to want to miss this one either. So be sure to take a break and go sign up and become a member of this program because you can't have any of this stuff until you do. So when we come back, we'll be expecting to share with you only if you're a member of Abundant Society. Thanks for joining us with uh, Juicing and Dehydrating with Mia. <laughs>